Leicester Uncovered, the highs and lows of a Club 1830 round. This week is over. It's been a hard week. Things can only get better, though. I don't think you can get much worse, actually. It's all good, clean fun for two families who take the bull by the horns on their Ibiza adventure. It's not The clubbers who jet into space. It's the first big club opening. And the trials and traumas of Sam and Kez continue. Oh, it's come here. In Ibiza, San Antonio is the mecca for young Brits looking to work and party for the summer. While the big clubs haven't opened yet, the bars are already battling it out for the tourists for satyrs. And on the front line, the props. Five, four beers, we'll give you a one litre bottle of either vodka, pizza, apple snaps, tequila, brandy, whiskey, whatever you want for free. Don't not be bad, just drinking all that. Let's have you in here for one drink. Do you want to go to your tonight, people? Are you going to give it a shot upstairs? We are free, we are busy, we want you. You have got your own pass. Julian Kobe is a manager of Bar Simple. He came to Ibiza nine years ago as a club 1830 rep and stayed. They're officially called public relations executives. <laughs> but we just shortened it to prop because they're, they're PRs really. They try, and, they try and propaganda the people into the bar. But it's where you are, the people start at the bottom of the street, by the time they get to here, they've had 10 people doing it anyway. So I'd rather them try and be friendly and rather than pressure and force them because too many people forget their people who are on holiday. Jase, you must get two pretty girls in. Freebie or anything. Get two pretty girls in though. If you fail, you're out. Keep the job. Basically, if you get them into the bar on, lad, and then you see it's not busy enough, and then they walk out on you because you've lost your commission, because most people are out on commission here. You need to have a sort of a good personality, quite an open, loud sort of personality, outgoing. I think that's what it is more than anything else. So it's good fun. The worst thing about the job is when you get some pissed up lager louts and they're trying to grab hold of you, but I mean, you've learned to cope with that. There's always people looking out, yeah, like these lads, exactly, you know, and they think nothing of pulling your skirt up, but trying to avoid that. I think you'll be confident and uh, be able to communicate with people and be good looking helps and, uh, you know, just chase the women, basically. Hello, and fellas like that, you know what I mean? At the moment, we're only making like ten pounds a night. Oh, yeah. Throughout the season, we could be making like fifty pound a night. Well, the problem side, have a quick look. See what you think. If you don't like it, you can always come back out. Can't you? If they don't like what you're doing, you stand there doing nothing. Um, they just sack you basically. So, because they've got nothing to lose. There's hardly any jobs out here, and people don't do the jobs that somebody else would do it for them. <laughs> if you have like a couple of bad nights in a row, and it is busy at the time, and all the other places are busy then there is a lot of pressure on you. Because if you don't keep filling up the place, then you do lose your job. So things are right here. Here he is, 300 seers for a bottle of beer. Some shots of vodka. Nah. Let's nah. get round 23 beer and a double. No, 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 come on. Vodka, 23 beer and a double. Come on, vodka, 23 beer and a double. Come on, vodka, 23 beer and a double. It's every day, but I try, I try and take a day off about every 10 days if I can. But the, the thing that's so important about tourism here is we only work six months of the year. So as much as it seems we're, we're constantly working, we actually only work, only work for 180 days and there's nothing to do in the winter. So you kind of just have to get what you can out of the summer because for six months of the year there's, there's nobody here. Away from the hustle of the West End, Julian is a family man. He's married to Sadie and they've got two kids. I feel myself quite lucky that when I, go, when I leave work, we go home, we've got a, a nice house and it's peaceful. Uh, I speak to a lot of the people when they go back to work the next day and all they've done is they've gone out afterwards and they've had four or five hours sleep in the apartment. So for me, it's quite nice to just lock the door and get away from it. And I try then to forget about work completely until the next evening. If he's been drinking too much the night before, then 
then I get a bit downhearted because by the time he gets up and he's recovered from his hangover, <laughs> it's dinner time and he's gone again. We, we make the most of the afternoons we've got together and every evening we sit at the table and have a nice dinner always together. We make a point so we at least spend a whole hour where we're all together every day. As each day passes, new planefuls of tourists arrive, eager for the Ibiza experience. Jay, put your arms down, your pits smell. This. <laughs> Jay Moore and Dee Walsh have only just finished their training as Club 1830 reps. It's the first time they're out alone to meet holidaymakers. When you're in training, you're learning all these things and you think, oh, I'm never going to do this, I'm never going to be able to... But now, I'm here and I'm going to do it. Definitely. Nervous, not knowing what to expect. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it right. <laughs> Can't <climb down>. Brilliant. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I can do it properly and make sure, make it look like I've been doing it for years so I know what I'm talking about. Club 1830. Club 1830 Gatwick. Welcome to Ibiza, guys. What hotel are you in? Okay, you're on Jay's coach, which is coach number 28. Okay. okay. No, if there's a problem, we'll be able to radio back to San Antonio and help will be on its way. Hopefully. I'd just like to welcome you to Ibiza. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and the hotel choice call. And of course, the burning question on everybody's lips is how is the weather? Hey guys, follow me. Have a good time. I'm sure you do. Joe Albrow is a Club 1830 resort manager for San Antonio. Five years ago, she was a first year rep. We try and train our reps so they're all to, to one standard. Of course, you get your slightly wilder reps. I mean, you've witnessed one yourself, Jay. You know, a little bit more of a nutter than a normal person. He prefers to stand on his hands rather than his feet, I think, most of the time. Um, then you've got Dee, who's a little bit more quiet, but. Um, she probably talks to people just a little bit more rather than tries to entertain a whole crowd. Right there. It's Everyone a welcome meeting. Up, the aim is for the reps to give the clients the lowdown on the resort the and get them to sign up for excursions, which can cost up to £150 in total. Island, where we're going to take you to the Agumar. Now, the Agumar translated into English is the water park. Now, when we get there, you'll see this big tall erection in the sky. No, girls, it's not me and my full morning glory. What it is, is the kamikaze ride. Lads, a bit of advice, OK? When you're going down, keep your legs crossed. Otherwise, Bill and Benny is going to travel up here, and you're going to look like Frankenstein for two weeks or a week, and that will be no good, will it? Girls, there is one advantage. They might be able to time it right. Whee! Girls, a bit of advice for you as well. Do not wear a two-piece bikini, only because this Billy is going to travel all the way up here. And this bit here is going to be the most expensive pair of earmuffs you've ever worn in your life, OK? you going to make you famous. An important Hi. part of the rep's job is to talk to the clients. Alice McQuaid is on pool duty for the afternoon. She's been out of training for only a week. So until you put it into practice and adapt to the people you're dealing with, you don't know how it's going to go. Oh, my God, I went to school with him. We all went to school together there for my manor. Oh, what result? That, it's got a back passage. That is disgusting. It ain't got a back passage, dude. That is sick. So I keep getting slated by everyone saying, you are minging birds. <laughs> I am totally minging because I am unfortunate enough that I haven't pulled yet. Well, what are you laughing at? You're laughing at what? You're about yourself? Well, you're gorgeous. <laughs> right, I had a bunch of scarcers here last week, and they're like, got any scarce in you? I'm like, no, do you want some? <laughs> no. When you've got no friends, Daddy, you've got no family, the thing that takes your mind off of it is the meeting the new people, because to be this do this sort of job, you've got to be a people person. And I'm an I'll chat to anybody and have a laugh and a giggle and I'll come round here and they'll throw me in the pole and everything, so I'll scream and shout at them and just get on my trolley and they just think I'm nuts and it's all right. Oh, snogged somebody in a club. 
by it, but it was like for a photo because the cameraman was going around taking people, and I thought I was going to get like a peck on the lips. Uh, it's a good job I'm full of hot air, otherwise I'd go straight to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> And I got severely in trouble because it doesn't look good. And like thinking about it, it doesn't look good. I made big boo boo, big boo boo, and I will not be doing it again. Jay is counting them all out for the first excursion of the week, a bar crawl. Whether they all come back won't be known until the morning. Controller Tony Hughes has called his team together right. before they move everyone to the next bar. Please, uh, the crowd's very quiet again as we walk in. You sweep with Lisa. Yeah, sweep the whole venue. If you call it out as well, and then just sweep the whole venue. Yeah, what we need to do is take them in 30 packs and welcome. There's quite a few police out tonight. <laughs> Blake and Kez Wells are the good time girls. They've been in Ibiza for three weeks now. Last week, Kez managed to beg for her job back at the new Star Pub after being fired for being seven hours late. Sam still works there, but things haven't been going too smoothly for Kez. Well, I've been sacked and I'm fucking overjoyed. <laughs> nah. nah, I've, like, yeah, they've given me the sack, but I'm not too bothered about it because... It's just too long hours, um, just like not even getting a break in 10 hours and they're wondering why I'm tired and why I'm sitting down, you know. Thank you, we've seen chance, four chances already. Thank you very much. The friend is OK. More interesting, between the floor, the cat. Different kind of person, one another. I know it's the way of life out here in Ibiza, but maybe it just ain't for me, I don't know, but I'm going to go and ring like this guy is meant to be getting us a job in the restaurant. I can go and meet him tomorrow, go and see the restaurant. Uh, he said I can move into his apartment and stay there. Like I'll offer him some rent, you know, when I get paid, basically. Is he going to be living in the apartment? He's living there, yeah. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it is all a bit dodgy, basically. I don't know him or anything, but from what I've spoke to him on the phone, he seems, he seems <laughs> all right. Absolutely weird. <laughs> it's a bit dodgy, I just got to move in What would a job be? Yeah, <laughs> Him, you can't do shit like that, can you? What? You can't, you can't, I don't know him, but I just moved to Ivy for town with just for laugh like that. You've got to be careful, With Kez jobless, lack of money is becoming a big problem for the girls. <laughs> well, I went out last night and I didn't realise that Kez and the other guy that's staying with us were still in the apartment, so I've locked the door. With the key, you can only open the door from the inside with the key, so as far as I know, they, they could still be in here after about 15 hours of at work, like out all night and then straight to work, so I don't know if they're still here. The music's on. <laughs> so, they're obviously in. Hello? Hello. <laughs> Look at the state. <laughs> Crawling to get in. <laughs> Complete dive. The only time I want to be in this place is when I'm unconscious, asleep, and that is it. don't even want to look around. Well, this started off with um, a full-size bottle, I think, when I went out. <laughs> Eight gallons of vodka layer. A couple of snacks. Right, right here. Put lemonade Where'd you get this? Where's the snacks glass, then? This is... Oh, God! <laughs> Points! <laughs> 
I've got some challenge checks left. I've got about 300. And it's just a complete nightmare. It's a state and it's awful. And I'm not in the mood for it at the moment. I just want to get out and get in somewhere a bit better. What's this place costing you? Um, £75 a week. 15 mil a week. <laughs> I don't even want to discuss. <laughs> I'm just not... The thing is, I haven't been here much to, to see it, which is the best way, really. It's just get depressed in, so I've just been out the whole time. Just to really come back to sleep, that's the main thing. Oh, I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> so... It's a complete tip. Sean Mackay and Pete Langan have brought their wives Shelley and Jackie and the kids out to Ibiza for a fortnight's break. They're heading for a family night out to watch the England versus Brazil match. Yeah, I went on a banana boat and flipped, flipped the young kid up there. He went up in the air and come landing down on me. Five stitches. Oh, no worries, I went. We'll take him in a minute. Oh, oh, you get? No. Whoa! You want to cut down? One of the kids is being hassled by a street talker. No, Nasta. My Brazil. No knife. No knife, Nasta. I like my Brazil, eh? Go, 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 go. My music. What are you doing? What's your about? It's because she won't buy anything. They get like that. They get very aggressive if you don't buy. Get the bloody police to him get an iPad. It's only a kid. Right. You know, last night. Later on, Jackie speaks to a hawker about a broken watch she bought the night before. Okay. I've got it with me. And. Look. 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 You've seen what's happened, haven't you, Sean, uh, Mitchell? And they're going over there and they're talking. And they come over here just to aggravate you. That's all. That's, I'm telling you. Ecologic is an environmental group concerned about the effect of tourism on Ibiza. It was started by Chris Jews, who's lived on the island for 12 years. The aim is, <laughs> it's a big story, um, reduce tourism uh, to um, a sustainable level by educating the children of Ibiza, who are the future um, inhabitants of the island. Ibiza for me is... Uh, the whole world in, in one place and, and a very beautiful uh, place to live. 
But not all of Ibiza is beautiful to Chris. Here we are again in San Antonio um, West End after after everything's finishing off. You can see uh, what a nice party they've had by all the garbage that's still in the street. In my opinion, of course, uh, what they really should do with San Antonio is put a put a big wall around it, call it Ibiza 2, and don't let them out. But I mean, that's just my opinion. The authorities are getting used to um, thinking about controlling it a bit in the future. At least they've realized that's not what they want to do in either in, in tourism. They need, to, uh, they need to get themselves out of it and get themselves into something more um, sustainable, but they're not quite sure how to do it. Well, we're getting there slowly, but we've still got some way to go, I guess. For me, the holiday is a change of scene, a change of culture, a change of food, a change of everything, not just uh, the same thing with some sun shining on it. I mean, I don't see any difference between here and Blackpool. What's the difference? The rain, <laughs> perhaps. But I mean, same people, same kind of ambience, if you like. A bit worse. <laughs> More. Uh... I'd be for the morning. I'd be for the morning. Yeah. Yes, one is a typical. There we are. That's a, a nice shot for me. Please say one. Well, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> I'd be for the morning. Hey, get on. There you go. Breakfast time too. You're having a nice time. Breakfast time soon. What do you think about the mess up here now? Mess? Yeah. Disgusting. The mess is disgusting. And, um, and who do you think is responsible for making all that mess? These places. Yeah. Go to the clubs, they keep the mess in there and they pin it off. Yeah, yeah. Clubs. Who did it? Vagabondo. These little old, it's the little pubs, I say. Yeah. yeah. You don't think it's the people that come here that make the mess? You think it's the. Uh, you think it's the, the bar owners that are responsible? No, it's not the bar owners. It's sort of these pissed up foreigners. There you go. <laughs> like me. Like me. Yes. Like me. Yay. Yes. Well done. Well done. All right, shy. Our oh, boss. There you go. So what are you going to do with your bottle when you finish with it? I'll stick it on that table before you have another one. Oh, there you go. Well done. Good, good lad. That's what I like to see. We've got an see. apartment full of them. Yeah, we've got, the we got a bottle making going on. Oh, good. And when, when you finish all the bottles, what are you going to do with them? May service takes them for recycling. Ah, good. We're starting to get somewhere finally in the beta. <laughs> I'm very happy. At least you're aware of the possibility. Yeah, go you recycle them. OK, that guy we were just talking to before, at least he, even in his drunken state, uh, he had some concept of what we were talking about. But most of these people... <laughs> Kez has finally managed to get a job. Propping outside a pizza restaurant. Hello there. Interested in eating that pizza more tonight? No? Pasta pizza, oh, all four guns says. Pasta pizza about two, three pounds. Get a fridge pizza. It's hard, because by the time the tourists have come up here, like it's bottom down there, by the time I've got up here, you know, they're just like fed up with pork, basically. They're down here. But if they're coming down here, it's an, Different story. I can like maybe get a meal, but I've got I've got quite a few people in. I'm you know what I mean. I ain't say, I ain't put myself down or anything. Hello there. English. Exceptionally so. Exceptionally so. Free pizza or a snack? Will you eat at this restaurant here? Pizza pasta. Now let me just tell you, please, 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 please. About three or four pounds for anything you eat here. Well, fancy coming for a sign to eat at Pizza Pasta restaurant? No, Get no, free no, no, no. Pizza I couldn't anything eat. you eat? I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. Another day? Another day. Another day. They're all out here for the same thing. I really are. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you on camera. <laughs> it's a bit sad. <laughs> yeah, 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 give you some drugs and then that's it. You know what I mean? They're yours. And that's what it is. That's what it is, eh, mate, I tell ya. Big time. No, I'm really sorry. Maybe enough night okay, then, yeah? Thank you very All right, and girls. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I've only... Well, no, I ain't even fallen into that trap, but... That's the way you can go, you know what I mean? Like, that's the way I've seen a lot of people go. Girls out here on holiday. 
ain't gonna be like that, no way. It's worth more than that, basically. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's. Tomorrow. All right. I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't speak their language, that's why. Well, I know it's mañana, which is the Spanish for tomorrow. Miss my mum a lot. Mum, I love ya. <laughs> Seriously, I miss my mum a lot, I tell ya. Big time. And my dad. Sometimes I just feel like fucking getting a flight home. I've got money. So I ain't got money here, but I've got money at home. I just feel like getting a flight home. It's just too full on. Kez only earns about £10 a night, so she and Sam are still short of cash. They're off to try and get a job handing out flyers for Manumission, one of the biggest club promoters on the island. If you're interested in flying, give everyone a number or a symbol or something. Give you a set of, um, yeah, a pack of flyers, you might, you might fly and fly for the bar just for just a couple of nights. Just so I get... Where doing that? West End or where? Right, you know, the West End and all around there. I mean, it's not. That would be next week, yeah? That would be starting as of tonight or tomorrow. But I won't have anyone, anyone dealing while they do this, yeah? So I'll just make that clear now. Don't, no one, if, you, if anyone finds out that you are dealing while you're doing this, I'll lose your job. But I just, I mean, as long as we're clear on that, then everything's cool. Because she went to the flyer meeting, Kez is now late for her job at the pizza restaurant. Well, New job, which was supposed to start <laughs> ten minutes ago, she ain't turned up, so she hasn't got a job, basically. <laughs> that was a bit boring, but like, it's a job, isn't it? Which well, it's I not, haven't got It's now. not, because you're 15 minutes late, you're having nowhere near the place. So it's not a job now, is it? I'll get one. Oh. The thing is, we've got to pay £175 each tomorrow oh, no. for our rent. Kez has got about 30 quid and there's no not turned up for work. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Sam, I'm just going to laze around. Well, you are. Why? Right. I like to come here. God, I'm fucking moody. I am, because I ain't got much money myself, but I'm not oh, paying for both of our rent. I'll look for a job tomorrow. Oh. You know I mean, it's just, it doesn't seem like you're making in much of an effort. I haven't started yesterday. Exactly, you know, like, you know, turn up to Yeah, you know. I know, but I, I want, like, I don't mean to be moody, Kez, but it's just like, it's so much, it's like, just, it's all coming back to me, do you know what I mean? So like, I've got to do everything at the moment. Like, if you don't want to do it, don't do it, do you know what I mean? But sort out what you are going to do. A day later, Kez hits the streets handing out flyers. Right, girls? On holiday? Yeah, how long for? Um, going tomorrow. Going tomorrow? Yeah. All right, and let me give you these flyers. This is basically for a free peach snacks tonight. Roughly, if you ain't got much money, a bottle of San Miguel is about a pound. So with these, you can get free peach snacks of it, yeah? So if you fancy coming up there, I'll give you those. All right? Cheers. See you later. What are you off to tonight? If enough people turn up at the bar yeah. with her flyers, right. she might get the manumission job. All right, and well, if you can afford a pound, pound for a bottle of San Miguel up bar room. You see that bar behind there? It's like, yeah, oh, you've been there before. Yeah? yeah? There we are. That's how many. I haven't got rid of. <laughs> Only about two, three hundred there. <laughs> you think you get rid of them? No. Nah. I will. I, I might do later anyway. I might go and do some sunbathing and get rid of some more. Everyone's got them though, that's the thing. Already. So, I shall try later. <laughs> Not surprisingly, Kez didn't get the job. Ibiza is a clubber's paradise. They come not for the tan, but to party 24 hours a day. It's still early season and the big clubs are just opening up. 
Fritz Tangratz is director of space. The doors open in only a couple of days and the pressure's on to be ready in time. It's always a new opening for the club, you understand? It's not because you close nine months and then you open again. It's always if you open a new place. Not really a new place because the people know it already. The club is quite different because we have another opening time. We open always in the morning. That means from 7, 8 o'clock in the morning until 2, 3, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it depends. Also, we have a big terrace, Sasa clubs, so most of them are closed. And we have two rooms, the terrace and, and the main room. It's the opening time, it, it has the feeling of something forbidden, you understand? The people went out already, so most of them, the whole night, they are on another level when they come to us, you understand? They are not, not so, not so close, you understand? The people are very open when they are coming, they are already on a good feeling, and maybe that makes the feeling of the club already. So most of the people which we get is, is English people, because the English people are the best clubbers on, on the island, you understand? They like to go out and to follow on, to carry on, you understand? So I think they are, one of the best clients which we have. Now we are on top, we have 30, 40 people working here and we are already a little nervous if we can finish or not. One of the biggest club promoters on the island, a Manu Mission, run by two brothers and their girlfriends, all in their mid-twenties. Mike and Claire are the creative side of the partnership. The word manumission is, is a Latin word and it means release from slavery. Basically manumission is, is a party where you're free to, to do whatever you want to do, be whoever you want to be. That's the idea. Is to, yeah. Once, whatever you're into in normal everyday life or whatever you have to do in normal everyday life, in manumission you can do anything you want to do. That's, that's you're free, you know, that's, you're manumitted. <laughs> and it, that's, that's, that's the word, that's the proper word. Um, um, and this summer we're doing Manu Mission, the movie in Ibiza. We're actually filming a feature film. And it's going to be like a sex-driven, drug-fueled, 24-hour experience, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Mike's brother Andy and his girlfriend Dawn run the business side of the partnership. It all started in Ibiza four years ago. Came here and we were amazed. Completely blown away by clubs like Pasha, Coup. I mean, when we walked into to Coup, we're now called Privilege, but when we walked into Coup, uh, the sheer scale of it and the sheer magnitude of everything that happened in there and the fact that it was actually a purpose-built club that holds 8,000 people was absolutely mind-blowing. But Ibiza's cool because just like the whole... Nobody has to work the next day and even if they do, they don't care. They care more about partying than they do about having to work. You yeah, know? it is a party it's, island, And people it? get really excited about parties. We don't just assume that people are going to enjoy themselves because they're on drugs or something. It's not. We promote to people who aren't drugs. We always have, always will, because we think it's a cop-out to promote to people who are on drugs because it's, it's too easy, basically. Shit, not so good, not so good. Anymore. We're walking into a venue and saying, is the atmosphere high enough? We just want the highest possible atmosphere in a venue, and we'll do pretty much anything to get it. Oh, bit better. Manumission is out of control always has been. Some of it always will be. Um, the organisational stuff behind it is only there so that we can, we can grow. Everybody's welcome and that's, it's that, it's the sort of juxtaposition of like the different types of people like, you know, your, your northern lad and your gay French fashion designer in the, you know, and your drag queen and your chillum smoking hippie, you know, like... Uh, and there's lots of things that make a difference as well, it's all, all the, uh, the shows and, and we have, it's, it's like a club for everybody but we have like lots of strippers, lots of sex, lots of really wild things you wouldn't normally see in it. What happens is you do a sex show in, in the party. If anybody it does changes one. the atmosphere basically once you've done a sex People show. People sit there, their heart starts to go boom 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 and they you know as you're watching and then if the DJ is good he can just work the music at the right time at the end of the show lift it when everybody's adrenaline's really high from watching it and the party just lifts up you know a hundred percent more, two hundred percent more just gets you know, incredible. 
It's 6.30 a.m. In space, the Hedonist Paradise is about to open for the season. The first nightclub stragglers have arrived and are waiting to carry on the party through the day. Space director Fitz Tangratz has been up half the night dealing with last-minute panics, but now his work really starts. Yes, I was very late here. We finished at 3 o'clock in the morning. I went home, I slept a little bit, and I came again at 6.30. Okay, now it's very early, so people are starting to come in. The terrace is, is empty. I hope it will not be the same at 12 o'clock or midday. Seven a.m. They're coming in one by one, but space is still quiet. It needs to fill up fast as it only opens for three months of the year. The terrace is empty as the first few clubbers seek refuge from the early morning sun in the darkness of the main room. Two hours later and the club's filling up. As space hots up, Sean and Pete and their families are off to cool down in the water park next door. Don't you, kid? Hey! <laughs> it's the last day of their holiday, and there have been highs and lows for the two families. Yeah. Uh, like this place here. The hotels. The, yeah, the hotels. They've got lifeguards everywhere, so they, you feel safe here. Yeah, yeah it's all secure. The beach is nice because it's only small. You can only, you can see them. You, you know, they don't get lost in the crowds because they're not that busy. It's really good. The pubs want them in as well, don't they? Yeah. yeah. The pubs like them in. Yeah. It's been a worse thing. Banana boat. No, the banana only boat. The, only these. Um, Watch shallows. What do they call them? Peddlers? I don't know. Watch shallows. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're a bit intimidating. They hassle you. Yeah. Come back when we put the knife to me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, we bought a watch off them, and um, I mean, as soon as you buy something, they disappear anyway. You could never find them again. But the watch we bought, it was an Adidas one, but it, the front of it, there was a wire sticking out, and we looked for him, didn't we, all over that night? Could we find him? Spaniard, they don't bother you at all. Yeah, I mean, these are all helpful. Black helpful. people, the peddlers are. They're all. I mean, I've got nothing against black people, but well, I haven't. I'm not racist or anything, but you'd have thought it'd been the Spaniards bothering you, not them. I mean, it's like me going to Lady Jamaica in it and doing it, bothering them with stuff. Yeah. It's so, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's midday and space is now packed and in full swing. the 8,000 capacity venue for Manu Mission to check on the arrangements for the first party. Real life section of the Independent on Sunday. They describe us as probably the most successful club promoters in the world. <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is nice. The hype will come 
and it, it builds really, really quickly. Um, we have, but judging from what we know and what we've seen in the past and what we've been led to believe, it will really build. Everyone who's prepared to pay 4,000 pesetas to go to a nightclub will come on Monday, I hope. I don't think we'll... Uh, it's a question of how many people are prepared to pay it. I don't think, uh, you know, people will make it a night out. I mean, they have to, because there's, there's, there's barely enough people on the island to fill the venue anyway, and, and, it, and it will be full. It will be full. Yep. It will. It will be full. <laughs> With 8,000 tickets to sell at £20 a time, Mike and Claire are busy taking care of things at their office. They've got to plan a way to make the party a big hit. We knew we needed a sexual element in the party just to give it that extra lift because we had like the whole music thing and the fire and the, you know, the dwarves and the jugglers and, and everything like um, the DJs, you know, like worked on like so many different surreal things and we were just like missing out on that and let's face it I mean a lot of people do go out and would be quite happy if there was some sort of sexual me. interest sorry <laughs> we'd be quite happy if there was some sort of like you know like sexual event in their in their their evening back in San Antonio it's been a hectic week for J and D our club 1830 reps Suzanne Dudley is D's area boss you're all right. Yeah. Got everything ready for paperwork. Yeah. yeah. What's on the agenda for today? What we do? All right. Get paperwork done. Just make sure you figures that up. Dee's taking to the job really well. She knows what she should be doing, and she's doing it, and she's just getting on with it. She's as near as I've seen to an actual club rep. She's just everything she turns her hands to, she can do it, and she's good. She's having very, very few problems. She's doing really well. Then you've got your flight sheet. Also, just seeing how she copes when the pressure's really on, because the hotel's only half full at the moment. Um, just to see how she copes when it is busy and she's running around with maybe 10 minutes to spare a day and um, just see how she copes then when she is really, really tired. She's a bit tired at the moment and she's only just started so it'll be interesting to see her in July and August and see how she's coping then with the full hotel as well. Because you're, you're always on the go, you've always got something to do. If you're not out with your clients uh, or in your hotel or preparing for a welcome meeting or getting ready for the airport or getting ready for an excursion or whatever. It's, it's like you get two minutes, time to get home, do a bit of washing, clean the apartment up, then it's like it's time to go back. But if you had any time off, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself. Phone party! Jay's off with his clients to the weekly phone party. And it covers you over the phone and then after that, like the big water fountains kick off and then you spring down the dome and come down and it rains on you. It's been mad, it really is mad. Been getting a bollocking for the last five days. Every night I've been getting a bollocking. So who's been giving you a bollocking? Tony. Tony, yeah. Basically you've got it or you haven't. Uh, with Jay, he's an exceptional rep because he's I, I class him on the same lines as myself when I first started. Absolutely mad and just too mad sometimes. <laughs> Wait till we get inside. I'm under a lot of pressure. I've never been under this, this this much amount of pressure in my life, and it's and it's hard. It's a hard, it's a hard slog. But I want to make it work. Like I've been, I've been sent to pack my suitcase and go. Come on, call it quits. Let's go home. But it's not what I don't do. I'm here. I want to make it work. The main problem uh, was just to just got drunk on one evening, which we try to be a professional company, and fair play, we do. Uh, like, I've to have a good time, but obviously if they're... It wasn't totally drunk, it was after work, but uh, what he needs to realise is that there's a time and a place for everything, and I just had a word with him. While Jay's still working, Dee's finished for the night. It's 1am and she's looking to go up in the world on the bungee rocket.
Unfortunately, you either learn two ways. <laughs> you learn the easy way, the hard way. The easy way is you take it in straight away and uh, you're sorted for the rest of the season because you don't know when to hang back and say, well, I, I really want to go out tonight, but no, I won't because I've got this tomorrow. I've got an uh, excursion tomorrow, working party, so I've got to get up early. So I'll pace myself tonight and go to bed. Uh, or there's a hard way where you just keep on and keep on, and then midway through the season, you just need to go home. It's just great. Just love it. I just, just wish this week was over. It's been a hard week. Things can only get better, though. I don't think they can get much worse, actually. <laughs> On Ibiza Uncovered, it's opening night of Manumission. And how far will Mike and Claire go with the sex show? It's, it's, it's the largest weekly party in the world, so it's, it's obviously the largest event in, in Ibiza. Catch up with Sam and Kez. They're running out of money, but at least they've got their priorities right. It's a bit stupid, really, because I've got absolute lack of money. And the money's going on things like piercings, and I can't even use it to eat. <laughs> Never mind. We also join Dolly, Doreen and Betty on their two-week jaunt on the island. <laughs> the half is the five. <laughs> Good to have Yes. Now you want your dog burn because last time you've done that, you burn. And we're out with eight student nurses, all with one thing on their minds. It's nice, it's very nice, but he keeps shagging 